All right, we are back and we're going to be building these ships. You're going to get a drill ship and a mule ship going. Do you think I need to turn my welders back on? Drill ship first. Should have all the materials for this. It should go really quick. Well, as quick as the welders will weld. Put it that way. Like I've missed some stuff on the back. I can spin around and get that once the front is welded up nicely. I know what this is that we ran out of. It's going to be motors. Let's see if we can get everything else placed at least. And then we can spin around and try and get all the uh, thrusters welded up. Dang, I needed more than 500 motors for this ship. I guess it has a lot of thrusters. Interesting. Let's see how much of the back we can get welded. Added motors. Does look like it's motors. Interestingly, I already have some queued up. Oh, actually. Oh no. We still have construction components. We have all of this stuff. It does look like we ran out of motors at some point, so... Everything else we had plenty of. Just takes a crazy amount of motors to build any... atmospheric thruster-based ship. So 
everything's placed already on this this new ship on the drill ship. It's not guaranteed to be finished welding though. Pretty close to it. Pretty close to it, that's for sure. I think I actually might need some of that. Alright, let's finish this off. welded. I am not certain what it's trying to weld right now. But it's not succeeding. Sensors? Do I need sensors? Probably. tools. Shoot. my power a little on set okay we have a drill ship made I'm gonna add this connector back to the side because now I need it again. side as well for the next ship we make. Go ahead and get that ready beforehand.
last piece welded here. Wow. I barely tapped it. Okay, well. We're not going to talk about that. We'll just fix it and uh, pretend it never happened. And we do need to charge that one up for sure. Okay. Never going to be able to reach that. We need to find a better way to park ships so that I can get in and out of them. Maybe I'll build ramps from the front. I could go out from here, like over the wheel. Not ideal. Nothing's really ideal about this this rover right now. Nothing whatsoever. I almost think I should do something a little bit different. But I'm going to leave it. We need that to recharge. Um, I need to improve my windmill setup. So that I can recharge things faster. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Just need to tip this down. So I can access it. that's in the way. I find that unlikely. But we can use something. Oh, it's still not going to let me do it. That is tragic. Well, well, well. Guess I'm climbing up from the back. Or right here, actually.
Isn't really going to change anything just yet. Need to add at least one more to make this. Doing the same thing. There we go. Things never line up the way I want them to. Back. All of that, just to add one more wind turbine. Maybe I should add a couple more. They're going to be less efficient. I'm just worried they're going to make the efficiency of those less as well. Oh well, we'll add them. That is painful. Probably painful to watch too. I can leave that part on. It's not going to hurt anything, I don't think. Yeah, the low ones don't have great clearance, but the rest of them are pretty darn good. So, they're helping a little bit. Certainly more than I had before. But, uh, once the batteries power up on these two ships, then we'll start getting power in our main rover, which will be good. Right now, it has basically no power. A little bit unfortunate.
All right, once that's produ done producing, we can build our next ship. By then, hopefully, we will have enough power in our, well, all of our grids combined to do something, to go mining. I really would like to go mining right now with this ship, but I don't think that that's a great idea. We don't have a whole lot of power whatsoever. minutes. Could go mm, grab something off the Terra, or do some flying around, do some scouting. That wouldn't be bad. See if we can find maybe uh, silver. I think that's the only material we're not, we don't have yet. right away. That was a little bit strange. Oh, because I was already up. Crazy. What is this resource right here? Cobalt. Would have been nice to know that sooner. This is a closer cobalt location than my other one. so I don't go marking one again for no reason. Actually, we can just take the scout ship around. That might be faster. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Make me climb the ladder twice. That sucks. Hmm, let's not have that happen again. I'll have to seat on it. Now it's, uh... Now it's my scout ship. Ooh, almost forgot to turn the inertial dampeners on. That was a little bit dangerous. Oh, look at all these ore patches I missed. 
I missed scouting these when I was actually driving around in the rover a couple days ago. Looks really silly, but it's because I'm flying it backwards with a chair. Not the way it's intended to be used. Okay, my drill can't pick up whatever this is, so it's probably gold or silver. Deep down here. Oh no, it's nickel. It says right there. Silly me. We'll mark it. Yo, how's it going? Welcome to the random stream. It's actually my first silicon deposit. Not that I'll probably ever use it, but I'll mark it. Cobalt. And oh, I thought I saw something else. It is cobalt. Still no silver. I don't know what we really need silver for though. Reactor components, but we don't have uranium down here. Ion thrusters, again, not really useful on the planet. Is there any reason I need silver if I'm just playing on Bertam for now? I need gold for superconductor coils to make my refineries a little bit more efficient. But I don't know if I actually need silver for anything. is to get a large grid rover set up, a very large, large grid rover, and drive around in that. My main base is going to be a rover. I want it to be big enough that I can pick the Terra up with it. So like this vehicle, 
I want to be able to load this inside or on top of or somehow attach it to the large grid rover. I'll probably have like a docking bay that opens up on the bottom and then have a piston come down, connect to the connector, lift this up and then the, have the docking bay close. I think that'd be really cool. So I can deploy the, uh, the Terra if I want to use it. But I'm also going to have some sort of drill rig on the large grid and probably a wind turbine mast, kind of like I have on this one, but a lot nicer looking. This is just my uh, midway base that I'm using. I'm waiting for things to charge up so I can start doing some proper mining and get a welding ship going so that I can start building my larger rover. I need the welding ship because I'm playing through this without a jetpack. have enough charge built up in the, the rover here. Just start doing something else now. Try and weld up the other ship or use the uh, use the drill ship to go do some mining the fast way. right now it's not great. I'm gonna build a ramp or something to get up there. There we go, jeez. That was way too difficult. 50% charge, that should be enough to do a mining run. I think the first thing I need to grab is honestly just a bunch of stone. Instead of going for nickel and silicon at the same time. Actually, probably should just manually offload it all and do another mining run right away.
We'll get some iron this time. I'm right next to the iron deposit. Not to come in at an angle, but. Find a bunch of stone, a bunch of iron. We should get some cobalt. This is a cobalt deposit right out here that we just found. Still maxing out my power. That kind of worries me that one of my batteries is not charged. Now they're all equally charged, so I should be okay. I don't know how deep this cobalt is. It's not showing up on my radar either yet, so... We'll start back here. showing up. Hey, that wasn't that far. Oh, I haven't found magnesium. I completely overlooked that. I haven't been thinking about uh, weapons at all. The blue just reminded me of the magnesium.
All right, that should be enough materials to produce everything we need to make the mule so we can start building more. Oh, we're still out of power on this grid. Uh, need to set this ship to not be recharging. That'll help. Definitely need more motors. Oh, there they are. I was gonna say I thought I queued up a whole bunch more. I think this will be enough to weld up the whole mule. Why did it, uh, why did it drop? I did turn off the, uh, I did turn on inertial dampeners. And it has the battery set to auto. Oh, the battery's just empty. Oh, the batteries are just empty. Wow, okay. Well, that was a classic, uh, classic moment. Just dropped my ship. All right, well, I need to fix that now. That is quite silly. I just have to reattach uh, some of the stuff. Not a big deal. I'm gonna have to pick it up and carry it for a minute though with this ship. Make sure I'm not about to do the same thing with this one. Oh my Lord. So a little bit of lag really goes a long way. <laughs> I just clanged super hard. This one we can fix though. Having one of those moments where literally everything that can go wrong is going wrong. I detached from this and then drove a little bit away and then it sucked me back in and uh, blew up the back of my ship. That's all right. We'll have that fixed in no time. Just need to back into the welders. Gently back into the welders. Oh, what just happened? Did I just run out of power again with this vehicle? I am awkwardly just falling out of the sky now. I have no idea why this is happening. Batteries had plenty of power. There's really no reason I should, uh, should have fallen out of the sky there multiple times. Okay, it's super weird. The remains of my projector ship. All right. Well, well, well. See, look at that. Why did I just fall out of the sky? I have no idea, actually. There's, there's zero reason. Uh, the game is being so buggy. Why is it being so buggy? Repeatedly falling out of the sky. I wonder if it has something to do with... I really don't know. I'm thinking like a main cockpit issue. Like, well, that just happened again. It's not a power issue. It's not a thruster issue. I have no idea why it's happening. It's like every time a block gets 
a new block gets placed by the, the welders and the projector. It's baffling. But I'm just breaking more stuff than I'm fixing at this point. I have no idea why. need to get this out of the way so when I fall next time I don't hit funny and keep breaking my ship. Sometimes this happens when I'm playing the game. Just uh, something's bugged out. Like, what is that? Why is this happening? Oh, I don't get it at all. Yeah, I don't know. I think I need to give up on, uh, on this for now, though. I caught myself that time. Got it again. Maybe I just have to catch myself every single time I start falling. It's so weird. Well, this grid, this grid is fixed. That was extremely unpleasant. This grid is honestly not in great condition. Still have my beacon, right? Yeah, kinda. Jeez. How am I supposed to get this back? dismantle it. Ah, I was literally just going to build my new ship and I started having this problem. I think what I need to do is just take a break and come back and work on this when I'm not falling out of the sky repeatedly. I have no idea why that was happening, but it's it was rather annoying. So we're going to let our stuff recharge. Um, unfortunately... I guess I will attach this again. We're going to have to rebuild this at some point, though, because uh, it's, it's missing the whole back half, so. Can't even talk. I'm also having a, an allergic breakdown right now. My throat is so scratchy. <laughs> I can't talk for more than a couple seconds without starting to cough. 
So I'll go take care of that. We'll at least get this hooked. Oh, I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm not supposed to be doing that. We'll get this hooked back up. myself as soon as I start falling every time. to get back in if I get out? I guess we'll find out. Lang is not happy with what's happening right now. Not entirely certain why. Of course I fall down. is strong on those days. Okay, we need to... Ooh. Stop. I know I can target this. I did it a second ago. There we go. All right. How much do you think it's going to explode when I detach here? Probably a lot. <sighs> ah. Just can't win today. It looks like just the landing gear stuff. Okay. We're going to cut our losses. our losses and stop doing this for now. Yeah, I lost quite a bit down there. This vehicle, I think it's still trying to fly. There we go. Stop that too. Jeez. This is why we can't have nice things. to go for cobalt for a while again. We were pretty low on uh, nickel and silicon though. Probably completely out of it because of uh, this. What can you do? Gotta put our tools away. Put our tools away and be done with this for now. Unfortunately, the server is not being friendly. I 
That's alright. I have videos that need to be made. I will see you later.